It is now time to ask the expert. Summer has arrived early in southeastern Wisconsin. And, and for me, I always want to get outside right. and do my cardio. I want to be stuck in a gym. So a lot of people taking their fitness regimen outdoors mm -hmm. need some help with that today. Personal trainer Craig Mellendorf at the Wisconsin Athletic Club joining us now. Like, you know, I think a lot of people want to go outdoors, but oh, they don't absolutely. know what to oh do. Gosh. 80 degrees tomorrow? I would think so. Yeah. It'd be a lot better, right? Well, what um, do you do? I mean, what, what can you do outdoors? It depends how much what your fitness level is, of course. But I'm talking about a novice. I mean, someone who has not done much all winter long. And what I would suggest doing is block off a 30 minute block of time and put it into five minute in intervals. And so what you're gonna do is start off with, just because I doubt if you can run the whole 30 minutes right <laughs> off the bat, is run for one minute and walk for four and do that six times. Okay. Six times five is 30. So you got it done, right? Right. So what's kind of nice about that is it's not overbearing. You're not gonna be super sore the next day. Mm -hmm. You do that twice in a week, three times in a week, and then you start building up. Then you go two, three. So run for two minutes, walk for three minutes. And then you flip it around three minutes, two minutes. Then you run four minutes, one minute. Take a one minute break. And then you kind of jump up. And now this is where it starts to kind of stretch it out a little bit. Go to eight minutes and then walk for two minutes. Okay, then we've got three 10 minute segments. And then you might do 12, three, something like that. And then work your way up to 14 and one. Until and you're it, running for the full and half for hour. Full half yeah. hour. And it really doesn't take that long. Yeah, and there'll be days when you feel like you could just do it right away. I mean, sooner than later. So some people can do that in three to four weeks. Mm -hmm. I know, but it's a great little warm up because again, the worst thing that people do is they overdo it initially. And then they don't and then stretch. And done. Yeah, right. Well, you <laughs> yeah, don't stretch at the end. And that's the other thing I want to encourage people to do is to get that soreness out. If there is any intensity to that running that you're doing, is to make sure that you do stretch at the end. Because that's going to be key to, you know, you want to do it again the next day. But I, the other thing is make a plan with it. If you plan that I'm going to run four days and plan the days out, you have a better chance. And what time you're going to do it is even better yet. So you make an appointment to yourself. So I get home at 4 o'clock or whatever it is. I'm going to get the shoes on right away, go get it done before I go have supper. Great thing to do before you eat, by the way. Afterward, then, it gets a little tricky. Well, the hard part for most people, I really like to run in the evening. I, I'm a 9 o'clock person. If I'm going to run, I like that time because I don't have any trouble falling asleep. Ah. Some people, though, they gear up. They, they run in the evening because it's a little cooler and sometimes. you're up for three hours. It's a nice after yeah. the high. Yeah, exactly. And then they can't sleep till 12 or something like that. So that would be the only thing is everyone has their own personality to it. But the big thing is start off a little bit slow. You don't have to do, rush into it right away. You don't have to jump into the full 30 minutes, but you've got a 30 minute workout and then you just keep building up and pretty soon you're running 5Ks. All right. There you go. Got a question for our experts? Email them at ask the expert at today's tmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail number to call 967-5253. We're back after the break.